Today I'm going to tell you a hair story about an expensive shampoo that I've been using for the past six weeks that promises to revolutionize the way you wash and condition your hair forever. So does this story have a happy ending? So there's no shampoo and conditioner on the planet, in my opinion, that's really blow away, if you pardon the pun. And so I tend to mix them up um, to get the best results. And I feel like if you use the same products all the time, it doesn't work as well as alternating between them. But you know, maybe that's just me. One thing for sure is I have a lot of hair and it's naturally quite oily. So um, ordinarily I would wash it every couple of days and um, I get it highlighted a lot so it can be a little dry at the ends and I'm also boo getting more greys um, and I notice I'm getting these shorter sort of straggly hairs that are pretty hard to control so when I saw an advert for a very different kind of hair wash from a brand called Hair Story I was interested so their new wash shampoo is detergent free uh, so they say it won't strip your scalp of its protective oil barrier. Uh, and they argue that, and I'm quoting here, stripped scalps overcompensate and produce more oil and the oil sends you back to the shower. And they call that the wash grease repeat cycle. So by not stripping your hair of oil, hair stories say that you don't need a conditioner because your hair remains naturally hydrated. And they say your hair will become softer and shinier and healthier as a result, and that it works for every hair type. They also say it will save you money because you don't have to buy a separate shampoo and conditioner. However, at 44 pounds per eight ounce sachet, you'd have to be going through a lot of expensive shampoo and conditioner to save any money here. So I bought mine direct from the Hair Story website, but you can also buy it on Amazon and I'll include links below so that you can take a look. Um, I started using New Wash about six weeks ago and you're supposed to start seeing the benefits after just a couple of weeks. So let me first share with you a little montage of how those first two weeks went for me. Day two and I've actually tied my hair up for most of today because even though I washed it this morning, it's greasy. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just really never getting the sensation with this that my hair is clean, especially not at the, at the roots there. So this is day four. Um, I've just washed and roughly styled my hair. It's looking a lot better in that it is not as oily. I left the wash in for longer today. Um, I'm rinsing it really, really thoroughly. Uh, that's a bit of an issue in itself, but we'll come on to that. Um, and I would say it's sort of smelling fresher, all good, but it's dull you know, and it's just a little bit, it just feels a little bit dry. Certainly better though, day four, gonna give it the full innings. Still day four, uh, just about an hour after I last recorded, hair has settled a bit, and what they say about maintaining the curl in it, I would say is true, and um, it's feeling actually very soft and I would say it's looking quite shiny as well. I mean things are looking up. So this is the fifth time I've um, used it now and unlike yesterday um, my, my, I think my hair is looking shiny. It doesn't feel greasy. It feels very light and bouncy but the curls haven't um, stuck today. So it's really difficult to know what to make of it. I mean, I think I, I think I like it in that I think the colour is really, I feel like it's given a little bit of life to my colour. Um, and the hair feels younger, you know, all the damage done by 
um, my highlights and all the rest of it, it's feeling like it's being undone. So I do really like it. Um, it's just it's hanging a bit limp today. But that's okay because it's kind of young limp. So it's day 10 and I just wanted to give you a bit of an update um, because last time I filmed, you know, I was happier that my hair was looking less greasy and um, it was a bit more shiny and manageable. And basically what I've, I've found since then is that if I wash my hair every day and I have to use a little bit of it first just to take off the initial grease and then I use another lot of it to wash through it again. That way I can get my hair looking clean and shiny for most of the day. But this is before um, I've washed my hair this morning. So I just want to show you why I feel the need to wash my hair every single day. It's just every morning, no matter what I do, I wake up with greasy hair. So, you know, we'll just have to see if that changes at the magic 14 days and my hair stabilises and suddenly I'm able to get at least two days out of washing my hair. But so far, it's a little bit greasy still. So that's me six weeks into using new wash now. And I've got to say that my hair just hasn't progressed much from those initial two weeks. It doesn't feel dry, but it also doesn't feel particularly well conditioned. Certainly no further forward than I was before. And um, it's really oily. So I need to wash it daily if I don't want to have really greasy hair. This is what the new wash looks like. So it's more like a conditioner than a shampoo and it doesn't foam so that when you use it, it's really like washing your hair with conditioner. Although it comes out feeling a bit cleaner than it would if you just try to wash your hair with a flat conditioner or nothing else. Hair story tell you to scrub your scalp as you wash and rinse and I mean really scrub it and um, they sell a brush to help you do that. Although um, I just used my hands and that works perfectly well too. You need to rinse really really thoroughly and they kind of stress that a lot. That's important to trying to rinse out some of that oil and product on your hair. Um, it basically includes a lot of natural oils like peppermint and sunflower seed oil and it has a lovely clean essential oil type fragrance but my hair has never really smelled that fresh when I use this. I think because your own natural oil is not removed fully I feel that when I dry my hair it always has a sort of greasy smell. Um, so I washed it this morning and it doesn't really look like it. I have oily roots that leave my hair a little bit flatter and a little bit dull on top. Um, I mean, people with dry hair may have a different experience, but my mum has been using this too, and she has shorter, dry, fine hair, and she feels similarly to me. You know, as someone who could wash her hair maybe once a week, um, she has gone to having to wash her hair every couple of days like me. So I wrote to the company after a couple of weeks of use because the marketing material says you should see a difference after two weeks and they came back to say that I should just keep going. Um, they suggested I rinse extra thoroughly, which I had been doing, and actually to use as much as a palmful of the product. And the problem with that is that if I used that every time I washed my hair, I would use the sachet up in a hot minute. They also said it can take as much as six weeks for your hair to sort of settle in to stop producing as much oil once it realises it no longer is being stripped of its natural oil daily. Uh, but mine hasn't seemed to get the message yet. But in the interest of thoroughly reviewing, I did increase the amount that I used daily and, you know, I really scrubbed it. I left it on for a few minutes at a time. I rinsed it extra well. You know, if you do all that, there's a kind of slight improvement in the overall feeling of greasiness, but it's not huge. So I would say that this would last me about 10 weeks in total, the way I'm going. And that would mean having to buy about five sachets a year, totaling £220 annually. And to me, that's not saving. You know, I estimate that I might spend about £100 to £150 on shampoo and conditioner a year at the moment. So it's something I might be able to pay if I felt that I'd seen real benefit. But I'm actually nearly finished that 
sachet or packet and um, I think I'm going to stop using it and actually I cannot wait to tomorrow morning when I can just get my hair clean again um, you know I really wanted this to work and I know there are a lot of fans of this product out there so I'm not saying that it couldn't work for you but it hasn't been a huge success for me after six weeks of continual use there's no interruption I never used another shampoo or hair wash product for that whole time. I really bought into the idea of embracing our natural oils, but I live in a city and as somebody who has got thick, kind of oily hair like mine, if I want it to look and feel clean and fully conditioned, then I think I need more than this. So that's my experience of New Wash. You know, I hope you found it helpful. And um, if you enjoyed this video, there are lots more like it on the channel. And if you haven't already, then by hitting subscribe, you'll be notified of my latest reviews as soon as they're published. If you've tried New Wash, do let me know what you thought. I love to hear from you and get all your different opinions on the products that are featured on this channel. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.